Heading into the second week of the BNP Paribas Open, the tension is taken up a notch after many of the big names navigated a challenging first week. Every year, the best in the game come back to play for one of the sport's most sought-after titles. Well, we're very fortunate and it's something we don't take for granted. Um, but uh, we've been very blessed for many, many years with respect that the, this is a tournament the players have supported. This is now becoming an event that the players want to win and they want this in their, in their trophy case and it means something to them. And if we can continue to do that, that's great. Indian Wells is one of the few stops during the year when many of the top singles players also compete in the doubles making the team title a tough proposition. It's a world-class draw, you know, having, having some of the top singles guys put their names in and the top doubles teams makes for some fun tennis, you know. I, I think that's the, that's the most exciting part about doubles, when you get highly competitive matches and, and people come out there and get involved and in, the intensity goes high and through the roof. It's nice to touch up on a few things in doubles and, you know, it's match play at any, any time spent on the court. Uh, can be good if you use it the right way and, uh, yeah, and I, I enjoy playing doubles as well. For those who do make it into the second week of the singles, the title comes into focus. Now even the smallest margins can make a big difference. You come out of a tournament, the Masters 1000 like Indy Wells, and you win it, you've got that in the back of your mind that on a really big occasion, you beat the best players that are out there. And maybe you beat you know, either a Federer or a Djokovic or something if you're Rafa. And you just have that, just that little edge that can maybe you know, boost you through the rest of the season. They've seven BNP Paribas Open titles between them, and the world number one and two have both started 2015 ominously strongly. The season started uh, fantastic, uh, I can't complain. I'm feeling good on the court, and um, obviously I'm gonna try to use the confidence uh, from, from those events and opening weeks of the season into Indian Wells and have another great tournament. Once you get the taste of victory and winning uh, big uh, tournaments, you definitely I uh, feel like you probably can do it anywhere, you know, and uh, for me that's no different. Confidence is everything. Try, try to take it in your stride. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, there's more March Masters. We're at the Miami Open, presented by Ital. And we catch up with defending doubles champions in Miami, the record-breaking Bob and Mike Bryan. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.